Yo, 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 it's Kill'em Castellano, we on Kill'em TV. Freeway Ricky Ross. Was he throwing some, some, like, I don't want to reach, but I, I, I'm, I'm watching Vlad TV. I'm seeing him kind of do what he do, Officer Vlad, baiting, freewaying. Freeway Ricky Ross into saying, uh, you know, he said he said he would never call nobody a snitch. In regards to Nipsey Hussle allegedly calling this dude, I don't even want to say his name. The dude who they saying that that killed him, calling him a rat. Rick Ross goes on to say, oh, he would never do that. And he would never tell nobody that they can't come around a uh, neighborhood where they from. First of all, none of us was there. We don't know what Nip said to that man or what that man said to Nip. Long live Nip, by the way. Cowboy specifically said that that conversation never happened. So where is it coming from? Who's reporting that this that this conversation was had? Now Cowboy was said to be there on the spot, on the scene. Scene boy come up. He said he was talking to him about some rap stuff. So however it go. Whether he was, whether he said that or didn't say it, why would you, even if that's how you feel, go and say, "Oh, I would never call that man a rat." I mean, I understand. You know, you got to be mindful and be careful with what you're saying, especially if this boy is supposed to have been a shooter, and you, you know, pulling his car like that. With no protection around you. I mean, I could understand looking at it from that, from that, from that point of view. But I'm just saying, like, stop letting Vlad influence dumb, unnecessary conversation. Like, stop, man. You know what I'm saying, or, like, you could have easily scanoovered out of that situation. Like, yo, you know, I ain't going. I'm not going to get into that. You know, what I mean, rest in peace to that man. And then you go on to say you wouldn't move out of your area and you still do business in South Central LA. And it's the love that you get that you feel comfortable or whatever. So how is it that you gonna say that but then this man can't feel comfortable in front of his store? Whether he's active in the gang or if he's just affiliated, it's like, yo, you can't, yo, yo, I can't have you around here. I'm saying, I'm not telling you uh, what to do. I'm advising you, like, yo, it's not, it, listen, it's not a good look. Don't, don't. I mean, you might not want to come around here. Don't, don't, don't come, don't come in front of my store. This is my, I, I, I own this over here. This is me. You know what I mean, you want to go to the gas station across the street, whatever. That, that's on you, but. I can't have you around here. And if that's somebody that he knew personally and they got that type of report and he know that he's a rat and he telling, I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't see what's, I mean, Rick, Rick Ross wasn't a gang member. So his outlook may be different from a Nipsey who was a gang member and somebody from his gang is said to be a rat and he got him in front of his store I'm talking about some some he want to rap or whatever whatever like i don't know man but i just think that that was a little distasteful rick i think it was very distasteful to basically say I mean, I'm not going to put words in his mouth, but he's, that's what he said. 
not even to basically say for him to say what he said I think it was a little uh, distasteful man I mean in that line of questioning could have been avoided I'm just sitting here looking at it like damn did he really just say it yeah, I never call nobody a rat or tell them that they can't come around here where they where they from. I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. I don't think on that platform at this time was the time to say it. Just me personally, man. That's just my thought. But, you know, you a man, you stand on what you say. So, I mean, it is what it is, but... I'm like, damn, man. <laughs> Vladimir, Officer Vlad. This dude is out of pocket, man. This dude is out of pocket. And then from the mindset of Freeway Ricky Ross, it's like, this the dude that said, you know, somebody done burnt him for some bread. His guys want to want to knock their head off. He telling them, no, nah, don't do that. So his, 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 sense of honor and, and, and street code might be a little different it might be a little different I seen him on the uh, on the drink champs he talking about yeah it was it, it was dudes that owe us 300,000 and he like man let it ride I'm making a million a day now I can understand that too like yo I'm getting more bread than I'm losing that ain't nothing to me I just said I just cut you off you're not gonna get no more work from me I can understand that too. But in the streets, it's like, oh, he's sweet. I'ma burn him every time. We we just gonna we gonna line him up on a consistent basis. He ain't gonna do nothing about it. He ain't gonna do nothing about it. Then the boy that, that ratted on him, he's like, oh, that's that's what come with the game. I mean, I don't I don't I don't feel no type of way. You don't feel no type of way. Yeah, people people do rap that do come with the game. I mean, yeah, I don't know, man. Everybody carry it different. You know I mean, I just think that um, that was distasteful, and I don't know if it was just me. Maybe I'm just overlooking it, or maybe I'm looking too much into it. But it, it I don't know. It, it seemed a little out of line, man. But you know, shout out to Freeway Rick Ross. Uh, rest in peace, Nipsey Hustle, man. We on Kill 'em TV, and I'm out of here.